Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation using variation of parameters. So we have to, I mean, we are going to solve the given differential equation in three ways using variation of parameters method, okay? In three different parts, okay? So let's get going. Problem solve d squared plus a squared into y equal to cos ax using variation of parameters method. So we are given a differential equation of order two, right? Given differential equation, d squared plus a squared into y equal to cos ax. Consider it as equation number one, which is an operator form where f of d equal to d squared plus a squared. Now, the homogeneous equation of equation 1 is d square plus a square into y equal to 0. Consider it as equation number 2. Right? Now, we are going to find the solution of equation 2 using auxiliary equation and later using the solution of equation 2 we'll find the general solution of the given equation and also we can write the given differential equation 1 as d square y plus a square y equal to cos ax right we can write 1 as Now, write d square y as d square y by dx square plus a square y equal to cos ax. Here, d square y is nothing but double derivative of y. So, we can write it as y double dash plus a square y equal to cos ax. Right? Here, equation 1, equation, this equation, and this equation all are same. Okay? And... We are going to use this equation later. Okay. Let's consider this equation as equation 3. Let's now find the solution of homogeneous equation using auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation is f of m equal to 0 where f of m equal to, we are having f of d, right? We are having f of d equal to d square plus a square. So, let's replace differential operator d by m so that we will get f of m equal to m square plus a square. Then the auxiliary equation becomes m square plus a square equals to 0. Now, let's find the roots to this equation. We will get m square equals to minus a square. Then m equal to plus or minus square root of minus a square and we can write square root of minus a square as minus 1 into square root of a square which is equal to plus or minus square root of minus 1 into square root of a square. Square root of a square is nothing but a square whole power 1 by 2 since square root of a is a power 1 by 2. So here we will get a right. So, this is equal to plus or minus and also we know that square root of minus 1 is i. So, you will get 1 i into a plus or minus i a. Therefore, m equal to plus or minus i a. The roots are complex conjugate. We know that when m equal to a plus or minus i b, the solution of homogeneous equation will be e power a x into one constant into cos b x plus another constant into sine b x, right? In case of a 0, we will get e power 0 into x which is e power 0 of c3 cos b x plus c4 sine b x, right? And also we know that e power 0 equals to 1. Since e power 0 equals to 1, so we will get 1 into c3 cos bx plus c4 sin bx. Right? 
from this we'll get y equal to c3 cos bx plus c4 sin bx right now we can write the general i mean the solution of equation 2 the solution of homogeneous equation equation 2 is y equal to just compare plus or minus i a with plus or minus i b then you'll get y equal to c3 for b equals to a you'll get c3 cos a x plus c4 sin a x okay let y equal to just replace c3 c4 constants by functions of x a and b okay or parameter c3 c4 by functions of x a and b we'll get y equal to a cos ax plus b sin ax be the general solution of the given equation or general solution of equation 1 we can say where a and b are functions of x right now we need to find a and b to write the general solution of the given equation okay to find otherwise to find the general solution of equation 1 so for that purpose here we have written y equal to a cos ax plus b sin ax right which is general solution of equation 1 so it must satisfy equation 1 right so here we need y double dash also since y is the solution of equation 1 which is nothing but y is the solution of equation 3 so y must satisfy equation 3 okay so we'll substitute y and y double dash in equation 3 for that purpose we'll find y dash and y double dash from this we have y equal to a cos ax plus b sin ax let's find y there y dash derivative of y is equals to a cos ax whole dash plus b sin ax whole dash here we are going to apply uv whole dash formula which is equals to u dash v plus v dash u right this equals to a dash into cos ax plus a into cos ax whole dash plus b dash sin ax plus b into sin ax whole dash is equals to a dash cos ax plus a into derivative of cos ax with respect to x is minus a sin ax plus b dash sin ax plus b into derivative of sin ax with respect to x is a cos ax which is equals to a dash cos ax minus a into a sin ax plus b dash sin ax plus a into b cos ax now let's write the terms involving a dash and b dash we'll get a dash cos ax plus b dash sin ax now write the terms involving a and b we'll get a into capital a sin ax plus a into capital b cos ax right let a dash cos ax plus b dash sin ax equals to 0 consider it as equation number 4 we are going to use this equation later so i have named it as equation 4 right 
So we'll take a dash cos a x plus b dash sine a equals to zero because while finding y double dash, you won't get a double dash and b double dash there. Okay. Fine now. Y double dash sorry y dash becomes the or the above equation becomes y dash equals to zero minus a capital A sine A X plus A capital B cos A X right then y dash equals to minus A capital A sine A X plus A capital B cos A X now we got a y dash now we need to find y double dash. We have y dash equals to minus a capital A sine a x plus a b cos a x, right? We need to find y double dash is equals to minus a into a sine a x whole dash plus a into b cos a x whole dash here is some constant okay this equals to minus a into here also we are going to apply u b whole dash formula which is equals to u dash v plus v dash u so we'll get a dash sine a x plus a into sine a x whole dash plus a into b dash cos a x plus b into cos a x whole dash which is equals to minus a into a dash sine a x plus a into derivative of sine a x with respect to x is a cos a x plus a into b dash cos a x plus b into derivative of cos a x with respect to x is minus a sin a x which is equals to minus a into a dash sin a x plus a capital A cos a x plus a into b dash cos a x minus a into b sine a x. Then y double dash equals to minus a a dash sine a x plus into minus minus a into a a square a cos a x plus a b dash cos a x plus into minus minus a into a a square b sine a x which is our required y double dash okay we have equation 3 y double dash plus a square y equal to cos a x right now substitute y y double dash and the above equation or in equation 3 then 3 becomes y double dash minus a a dash sine a x minus a square a cos a x plus a b dash cos a x minus a square b sin a x plus a square into y a cos a x plus b sin a x equal to cos a x okay then we get minus a dash sin a x minus a square a cos a x plus a b dash cos a x minus a square b sin a x plus a square a cos a x 
प्लस ए स्क्वायर बी साइन एक्स इक्वल टू कॉस एक्स राइट सो हियर प्लस ए स्क्वायर बी साइन एक्स माइनस ए स्क्वायर बी साइन एक्स इज कैंसल्ड एंड प्लस ए स्क्वायर कैपिटल ए कॉस एक्स एंड माइनस ए स्क्वायर कैपिटल ए कॉस एक्स गेट्स कैंसल एंड विल गेट माइनस ए ए डैश साइन एक्स माइनस ए स्क्वायर सॉरी नॉट ए स्क्वायर प्लस ए बी डैश कॉस एक्स इक्वल टू कॉस एक्स व्हिच इज इक्वेशन फाइव ना वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व इक्वेशन फोर एंड इक्वेशन फाइव to find a dash and b dash and later we'll find a b using a dash and b dash so let's solve four and five equations we have equation 4 and equation 5 in order to solve four and five just observe the terms involving a dash firstly okay and first term of equation 4 we have a dash cos ax and here we have minus a dash i mean minus a a dash sin ax right so in order to cancel in in order to cancel the terms involving a dash in both the equations we need an a sin ax in this term and here we need a cos a, ax in this term so we'll multiply a sin ax to equation 4 and here we'll multiply cos ax okay multiplying in the sense We'll multiply both sides of the equation with a sine ax, and here we'll multiply both sides of the equation with cos ax, right? Now let's solve. Solving four and five to find a dash and b dash, right? So we'll get just multiply the whole equation with a sine ax. We'll get a a dash sine ax into cos ax plus A B dash sine A X into sine A X is sine square A X equal to zero, and here we need to multiply with cos A X, so we'll get minus A A dash sine A X into cos A X plus A B dash cos A X into cos A X is cos square A X equal to cos A X into cos A X is cos square A X. Your first term gets cancelled from both the equations. Plus, or a b dash sine square a x plus a b dash cos square a x equals to cos square a x. Now take a b dash common from these two terms. We'll get a b dash of sine square a x plus cos square a x equal to cos square ax right since we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1 so he will get sin square ax plus cos square ax equals to 1 from this we'll get ab dash into 1 equal to cos square ax right then ab dash equal to cos square ax from this we'll get b dash equal to 1 by a cos square ax or cos square ax by a so we got b dash let's now substitute b dash in equation 4 so that we'll get a dash we have b dash equals to cos square ax by a let's substitute b dash in equation 4 We have equation four for a dash cos a x plus b dash sin a x equals to zero. Now we'll take this term to our edges. We'll get a dash cos a x equals to minus b dash sin a x. Let's substitute b dash here. We'll get minus cos square a x by a into sin a x. Right. Now let's take this cos a x to R H S. Then we'll get a dash equals to minus cos square a x by a into sine a x by cos a x. So if one cos a x gets cancelled from the numerator and denominator, we'll get minus sine a x 
into cos x by a. Therefore, a equal to minus sin x cos x by a. Therefore, a equal to minus 1 by a sin ax cos x and b dash it's a dash right and b dash equals to 1 by a cos ax let's now find a and b okay and here you're having a dash equals to minus 1 by a sin ax cos ax right we know that 2 sin theta cos theta equal to sin 2 theta from this we will get sin theta into cos theta equal to sin 2 theta by 2 right so we can replace sin ax and cos ax with sin 2 theta by 2 so we will get minus 1 by a into sin 2x by 2 which is equal to minus 1 by 2a into sin it's 2ax okay for theta equal to ax let's now find a and b using a dash and b dash we have a dash equals to minus 1 by 2a into sine 2x right and we can write a dash as derivative of a with respect to x which is equals to minus 1 by 2a into sine 2x 2ax otherwise here we need to separate the variables in order to separate the variables we'll take dx differential dx to rhs then we'll get da equal to minus 1 by 2a into sine 2ax into differential dx right here the variables are separable so we can perform integration integral dA equal to minus 1 by 2A into integral sine 2AX dx. Since we know that integral d theta equal to theta and integral sine A theta d theta equal to minus 1 by A cos A theta, right? Then this becomes integral dA a equal to minus 1 by 2a into integral sine 2ax for a equal to 2a for theta equal to x okay we'll get minus 1 by 2a into cos 2ax plus some integral constant say c1 okay this equals to minus into minus plus 1 by 2 twos of 4 a into a a square cos 2ax plus c1. Therefore, a equal to 1 by 4a square cos 2ax plus c1. We got a from a dash. Let's now find b from b dash we have b dash equals to 1 by a cos square ax right and we know that cos 2 theta equal to 2 cos square theta minus 1 or we can write it as 2 cos square theta minus 1 equals to cos 2 theta from this we'll get 2 cos square theta equal to 1 plus cos 2 theta. Now bring this to 2 to RHS then we will get cos square theta equal to 1 by 2 of 1 plus cos 2 theta right. Let's replace theta I mean theta by ax then we will get 1 by a of 1 by 2 into 1 plus cos 2ax which is equals to 1 by 2a into 1 plus cos 2ax right and we can write b dash as or b dash is nothing but 
derivative of v with respect to x which is equal to 1 by 2a into 1 plus cos 2ax now let's separate the variables by taking dx to rhs we'll get db equal to 1 by 2a into 1 plus cos 2ax into dx here the variables are separable So we can perform integration integral db equal to 1 by 2a integral 1 plus cos 2ax into dx then integral db equal to 1 by 2a into integral 1 into dx is dx plus integral cos 2ax dx. Since we know that integral d theta equal to theta and integral cos a theta d theta equal to 1 by a sin a theta then this becomes integral db is b equal to 1 by 2a into integral dx is x plus integral 2ax for a equal to 2a and x equals to theta or okay for a equal to 2a and theta equal to x we'll get 1 by 2a into sin a theta that is 2a x plus integral constant say c2 this becomes b equal to x by 2a plus 1 by 2a into 2a to 2 is a 4 a into a, a square sine 2ax plus c2 therefore b equal to x by 2a plus 1 by 4a square sine 2ax plus c2 so we got b from b dash right we are having a and b Let's now write the general solution using y equals to a cos ax plus b sin ax. Therefore, the general solution of equation 1 is given by y equal to a cos ax plus b sin ax then y equal to a which is 1 by 4 a square cos 2 ax plus c1 into cos ax plus b x by 2 a plus 1 by 4 a square sin 2 ax plus c2 into sin ax is equals to 1 by 4a square cos 2ax into cos ax plus c1 cos ax plus x by 2a sin ax plus 1 by 4a square sin 2ax into sin ax plus c2 sin ax. Right? Now take 1 by 4a square common from these two terms then we'll get 1 by 4a square of cos 2ax cos ax plus sin 2ax sin ax okay plus x by 2a sin ax plus c1 cos ax plus c2 sin ax since we have or we know that cos a cos b plus sin a sin b equal to cos a minus b right and the terms under brackets looks like cos a cos b sin a sin b 
so we can write it as cos a for a equal to 2x and minus b for b equal to ax okay plus x by 2a sin ax plus c1 cos ax plus c2 sin ax this is equals to 1 by 4a square cos 2ax minus ax is ax okay plus x by 2a sin ax plus c1 cos ax plus c2 sin x or y equal to firstly we can write the terms involving c1 and c2 we'll get c1 cos ax plus c2 sin ax plus 1 by 4 a square cos ax plus x by 2 a sin x this completes the problem therefore y equal to c1 cos ax plus c2 sin ax plus 1 by 4 a square cos ax plus x by 2 a sin ax is the required general solution of equation 1. So we have seen one way of solving a given differential equation using variation of parameters in this video. I hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.